Hello everyone, it's Sunday again and I, I, I was so very excited to share with you the Word of God this morning and this day. It is the Lord's Day and we need to listen to the Word of God and it will inspire us a lot because the topic that I'm going to share with you today is, uh, is about the power of prayer. Prayer is very powerful and uh, there is nothing else in existence no power, no force that can touch and move the heart of God is by prayer. So not only it does move His heart, but it moves His hand too because of the power of prayer. So prayer is omnipotent. It can do anything God can do because God has placed all that He is and all that He has at the disposal of prayer. So prayer is both key to open and to close doors in the spirit realm and also a transistor of potent spiritual power. In Acts chapter 4 verse 31 to 33, when the, when, the, when the disciples was praying, and here comes the power of the Holy Spirit, go down to the place where they are praying together. And here comes that the power of God is moving upon their prayers of these disciples of the Lord. So we saw here on this verse that God or the, that God will move in the power of prayer of every Christian. So Jesus had a powerful prayer life even in his earthly ministry. And if the Son of God is sinless, in a sinless body, needs to pray, then we surely need it even more as immortals. So he always set aside a time to be alone in prayer to sustain his spiritual strength in Mark chapter 1 verse 35. So the ministry of prayer is the highest calling of the church and the most important one in our lives and in the church. So prayer is Jesus' present ministry in heaven as our mediator and every time we lift up our hearts to pray, we align ourselves beside Jesus and the Father will answer our prayer because he looks at the righteousness of Christ as our mediator so prayer is so powerful and it can alter destiny and even change the plan of God though it cannot alter his sovereign will so here comes this some of the examples of prayer that move the heart of God to change his mind. Like for example, Moses in Exodus chapter 32 verse, verse 10 to 14. Moses pleaded with God not to destroy the Israel. And the Lord moved because of the power of prayer of Moses. So we, 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 we see here how powerful is prayer for us. And another example is Hezekiah prayed for mercy against his death announcement from Isaiah. In Isaiah chapter 38 verse 1 to 5, you can read it. And he pleaded with God. And because of that power of prayer, the heart of God was moved and the hand of God was moved. And the life of Hezekiah was extended because of the power of prayer. And even Nineveh, when the city repented before the judgment of God in Jonah chapter 3, verse 4 to 5, they repent and they pray to God earnestly. And God was moved, his heart was moved, and his hand was moved. And that Nineveh, they never experienced the judgment of God because of their prayer. So here are the scriptures of the power and the wondrous, uh, wondrous thing that prayer can, 
do in our lives and it will motivate us and it will encourage us number one is that god will answer and show us great and mighty things and miracles in in jeremiah chapter 33 verse 3 that uh it says there that uh that as we pray god will show us call unto me and i will answer thee and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not great and mighty things as you pray god will answer and will show us the, this great and mighty things in our lives the second is that god will will heal the land and administer his kingdom and peace in second chronicles chapter 7 verse 14 that if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then I will hear from heaven and heal the land. So God will heal our land as we pray because prayer is so powerful. And the third is that prayer will keep us from sin and cause us to walk in His ways, in the ways of God. In Psalm 119, verse 2 and 3. So as we pray, it will keep us from sin and that we can walk in the ways of God. The number four prayer will deliver us from our enemy and from trouble. In Psalm 6, verse 8 to 10. So as we pray, God will deliver us from our enemy. And that, even in our troubles in life, He will deliver us. Then another thing is that prayer will sustain and satisfy the desires of our heart. As we pray to the Lord, something happened. The desires of God will be the desires of our heart. As we pray another thing is that prayer will will cause us to walk in freshness and blessings Wow I like this one so as we pray we will walk in the freshness of the presence of God and in the blessings of the Lord and we will not stumble because as we pray we will walk in the press freshness of the presence of the Holy Spirit and the blessings of the Lord another thing is that prayer will keep us perf in perfect peace in Isaiah chapter 26 verse 3 so as we pray we have this peace the whole world was in chaos so worried but as we pray there is a perfect peace that God will give us because of the power of prayer another thing prayer will release the power of the Holy Spirit on us so as we pray in Acts chapter 2 verse 1 to 4 so as we pray the power of the Holy, Holy Spirit will be released to us as we pray and then another thing prayer will release divine direction as we pray we don't know what direction we need to follow but as we pray it will release a divine direction in acts chapter 1 verse 24 26 then another thing prayer will open doors in the spirit world as we pray we will see the spirit realm we will see the power of darkness and that we can fight for him as we pray because in prayer will will open the doors in the spirit realm and others that prayer will bind the enemy and lose the will of God. So we will have this, this prayer as we bind the enemy. We will bind the enemy. The power of Satan cannot move as we pray. And it, it, it will lose the power. It will, it will release the power of God in our lives. So prayer will make us joyful. So it's not a burden as we pray. But as we pray, we have this joy in our hearts that we have this uh, communion with the Lord. So prayer will make us joyful, my dear friends, in Isaiah 56, verse 7. And then another thing is that prayer will edify our spirit and build up our faith. As we pray, our faith will be strengthened. Our faith will, become, will be built up because of the power of God in our lives and it will edify our spirit then another
thing is that prayer will heal the sick. So as we pray, many people was in the hospital suffering for sickness. But as we pray in the power of God, as we pray, the sick will be healed, my dear friends. There is no distance in prayer as we pray. That is in James chapter 5, verse 14 to 15. That prayer will heal the sick. And lastly, prayer will win the lost and sinners for God. So we can see here in 1 John chapter 5, verse 16, that as we pray, we are praying for the people who, has, who is lost and that God will bring them into his feet will bring the sinners to God, back to God, as we pray. So prayer has the ability to create a green, greenhouse atmosphere where your prayers take on the climate of heaven and accelerate the growth, my dear friends. So in the, our conclusion in Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20, now to him who is able to to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we ask or think, according to the power that work in us. So do you believe that God has invested so much power in prayer that your prayer could touch and move the hands of God into action? My dear friends, activate your faith and seek God earnestly for the power of prayer to work mightily in you and trust him for that this is daily inspiration and i hope that this message will encourage you a lot as you pray thank you so much and god bless you and happy sunday